We need to talk about something real quick. We just got some critical information about one of our favorite draft prospects that could impact how we value them in Dynasty Fantasy Football and in rookie drafts, and that's Zay Flowers. And let's just get to it. Going to the tweet here for the Shrine game, measured in at 5'9", 182 pounds. We knew the weight wasn't going to be super big, but he was listed at like 5'10", 5'11". The 5'9 range is going to impact things a little bit. There's going to be some people that won't even want to touch him in rookie drafts. And I'm talking through historical things that I've seen from Rondell Moore, Wondell Robinson, him at that 5'9 threshold being measured out. Some people don't buy shorter wide receivers. They'll just let him slip. They'll put the black mark over their name and forget about him. And the thing about that is that could allow you to catch Zay Flowers at a discount. Also, the thing about this, too, from a hit rate standpoint, the odds are even more stacked against him. That is something you want to pay attention to. The odds are more stacked against Zay Flowers now. So you have to think of it on that term. Let's look at draft capital. Let's look at the combine. Let's look at things that are coming up. But the odds are more stacked against him now. However, what I feel about him has not really changed. We saw what he done on tape. We saw the production. And how I valued him, I feel like I was very calm with him prior when I did that last video, is once you're done with the running backs, it's going to be second round, latter part of the second round, maybe even third round, depending on what happens. That's when you look at him. Might be off the board by then. Might not be an opportunity for you to get him. But really hammer the running back class. Once you hit that sticking point where you're like, man, I'm, I don't want to reach on any of these running backs. Zay Flowers is there. He's got high-end second-round draft capital, mid-end second-round draft capital. He's all right. He's a top 50, top 60, top 75 prospect in the draft. I mean, that's where he got drafted at. Then you may want to pull the trigger on Zay Flowers. I would not reach on him early. I would not go to the moon for him. I, even if he measured at 5'10 or 11, I would not have done that. I would just wait till the running backs are depleted. I would really lean into the running back class and then move forward from there. However, for some of you, him being five foot nine is a death knell for you. Some of you guys are just going to say, that's it, I'm done. And I understand with that, there's just a, a cost for everybody. There is just a price point for every rookie pick. I feel like once the running backs are done, then I can start hammering out the second or third tier wide receivers once we get out of the Keishon Boutes and them. So this is what I'm looking at here. I really want to go running back in this draft, and I think you guys already know that, and I'm not making that a surprise to anybody that I'm just going to overshoot my shot on running backs, and I know I'm going to miss on some of them, so that's why I'm just going to spray and pray on as many running backs as possible because I know we're going to get some gems, and I know some of them aren't going to hit, but I know a good portion of them are, and I'm just going to go after them. But let me know in the comments what you think about Zay Flowers measuring at 5'9 at the Shrine game. Does that move the needle for you one way or another? I want to hear about it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button on the way out. This is the channel that you need. Not just the guy that gives you rankings and stuff like that, but the guy that goes to the news, the guy that finds these little nuggets and then comes to the channel with it. This is something different in the industry that you don't normally get. I want to thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video.